Hi everybody, this is my Math 8 video for the last week of March, and since we did JA Park, JA Finance Park last week, I'm also including dilating triangles. Before I start, I just want to say that, you know, it's 9.05 and I don't want to do any more work tonight, but because this is what we do, this is what I'm doing. All right, and I just want to encourage all of you to do the same because we can encourage each other and help each other do our best. Or I can stand up there and try to address the class and everyone can just keep talking and you can suck the life out of Mr. Field, and make him upset. So when you're sitting in class, don't do that. You're, you're, you're going to. You're gonna wear me out. You're gonna wear this middle-aged man out. All right, so let's get back to our Ed Puzzle videos where I can just talk and not be interrupted. I like that. All right, so dilating triangles. Draw this, draw this, uh, you know, either print out some grid paper or draw this triangle so that it has four spaces below and above the center and 12 spaces here. And of course, the center, very important. 11 people got this wrong. One person got this right. Mm. All right, so let's refresh ourselves. We know that we're looking at the distances from center. So let's look at the pre-image. The pre and let's look at point A. Point A is one, two, three, four up. It's four up. And that's it. All right, so now we're going to multiply that by the scale factor, which is one fourth. So what is four times one fourth? Well, put that four over one and then multiply the tops. Four times one is four. Multiply the bottoms. One times four is four and four over four is one. So A prime, our image of A is going to go one see up so we're going to go to the center and go one up and that is a prime i don't even have to do b you know we can see that b is four down Does everyone see that one two three four so if i multiply that by one fourth of course i know that's one down and so b prime that's where that's going to be one down. All right, so C, now where is C? If we go to the center, C is four down. And then the, the horizontal distance is 12 to the left. So now we're gonna multiply those distances by a fourth, our scale factor. Always multiplying by the scale factor and that leaves us with one down. And what is 12 times a fourth? Put that 12 over one and multiply the tops. 12 times one is 12. Multiply the bottoms. One times four is four. And what's 12 divided by four? That's none other than three. So we're going three left. So go to the center, go one down, and one, two, three left. Ignore that green triangle that is part of the computer answer. That's C prime. So there we go. That red triangle is exactly one fourth of the size of the blue triangle. And so if you follow this, this process uh, from getting to your pre-image to your image for each of the three points, the distances, horizontal and vertical distances from the center, you'll be good. All right. So, you know, we did that in class, but you just got to do that in the system in the computer. Now it's time to go to a brand new topic systems of equations. All right. So, write that down systems of equations. This, you don't do this now. You know, you guys get, get pumped up because if we don't do this now, when you get to Algebra 1 next year, you will be 
Ooh, lost. So even if you're like, this is so confusing. All right, the, the, the work you do now will be beneficial to you. I know, I've taught ninth grade algebra one many times. Systems is always a place that many students just, they fall off the road. Um, just, I got to pull them out of the ditch. All right, so don't let that be you. Let's talk about it. So what is a system? It is two equations. A system is two equations and two variables. Usually X and Y, but it could be any two letters. All right, so, and there are two forms we want to look for. Uh, y equals mx plus b. It's not all you have to know now. You also have to know standard form. So two forms, it's twos. Two forms to look for, okay? So these two forms, knowing whether it's in slope intercept form, or standard form will determine what you do to solve the system. But in this first assignment, they've already given us the answer, or at least something they're asking us is the answer. So they gave us one, two. Now, if I just write that a little bigger, we know that one is an X value and two is a Y value. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna substitute the X and the Y value into each equation separately, see if we get a true uh, solution. So three times one minus four times two. And now I'm just gonna do the math and I'm gonna see if I end up with negative five. So three times one is three, minus oh, four times two is eight, and three minus eight is negative five. So that means that one, two is a solution to my top equation. What about my bottom equation? Y equals four X minus two. Substituting our point one, two into that, we would get two equals four parentheses one minus two. Four times one is four minus two. Oh, oh, oh. four minus two is two and the two matches the two. So that means it is a solution to this one as well. Okay, so let's just say yes. You see, it worked. All right, so that means that one, two is the solution to the system. Okay, so now we're gonna uh, look at what the solution looks like on a graph. Okay, and so <clears throat> we're gonna graph the lines and the solution is, we're gonna write write this title down and write where the lines intersect. All right, so I know you've written that down. When in class, I, I ask you, where is the solution to the system? And you don't look at me like this. Oh, uh, uh, I just pressed play. I didn't write anything down. <laughs> you can tell that bothers me. Because I'm here recording this video late at night for you. You know, so anyway, all right. So we have two forms, slope intercept and standard form. And both of these are in standard form. And which, let me remind you is AX plus BY equals C. Way back in October, we graphed standard form by finding the intercepts. So I'm gonna find the intercepts again. X intercept is negative eight X equals 24. Take this, set it equal to this. And the Y intercept is gonna be four Y equals 24. I wonder if you remember that. All right, so divide by negative eight and we get X equals negative three. Divide this one by four and we get Y equals six. So that means I'm gonna take that red line and I'm gonna put one point at negative three, one point at six. Now, the blue line. 
So this blue line here, we're gonna set the, okay, to get the X, we're gonna do the negative seven X equals 28. I'm taking the shortcut. All right, so then divide both sides by negative seven and you get negative four. Now I'm gonna do the seven Y equals 28 and divide both sides by seven and you get Y equals positive four. So now I'm gonna take that blue line and I'm gonna drag to negative four on the X, positive four on the Y. And you can see those lines cross. Where do they cross? They cross right here. And what point is that? Negative two, two. So the solution to this system is negative two, two. You see? So if this was in the first assignment, it would say is negative two, two a solution? And because it's the point where the lines cross, we would say yes. Okay, so now here they're both in standard form again. And oh, in this one, you're, you're just estimating. So you see, don't just, you know, try and you'll be able to figure out two, two and two thirds is in between two and three. Three and two thirds is in between three and four. So use your number sense and give this one a try. And if you get a, hopefully you get a slope intercept equation, remember how to graph that. And if you forget, put it in the organizer, but don't say in the organizer, I don't know how to do any of this. Make sure you read through the hints first and ask a specific question about the hints. Otherwise, it looks like you didn't put effort into it. And that's not going to encourage anyone to help you. All right? <clears throat> At least not me. And I want to help you. So now this one, this assignment, write down systems of equations with substitution. So we use this uh, method when, when one equation is in slope intercept form. I'm just writing y equals mx plus b or x equals my plus b, you know, one variable solved for. If that is the case, so I'm looking at these two equations and I see this first one, is in standard. The second one is in slope intercept. So I always look at the two equations and I say, what forms are these in? And if one of them is in slope intercept, then what we do is we circle the mx plus b part. So the first step is identify the forms. If you know one is in slope intercept, and circle that mx plus b portion, sub it into the standard form equation. Okay, so, so you see that x plus four is our mx plus b. So my standard form equation is 12x minus five y equals negative 20. You see that? But what we're gonna do, since this says y equals, I'm gonna take, instead of writing the y, I'm not gonna write the y. It says y equals x plus four. So instead of y, I'm gonna write x plus four because that's what that second equation says that y equals. And I'm gonna rewrite everything else. I'm bringing everything else down. And I wonder if you see what just happened. What just happened is that now I only have one letter. So if your friend next to you substitutes and still writes the Y right here, you know, tell them, hey, don't do that. Then you won't just have one letter. But now that that's what we have, one letter, we can solve, you know? So distribute, get our variables on the left, numbers on the right and all of that. So we're gonna distribute the negative five here. So that's negative five X minus 20 equals negative 20. Put our variables on the, on the left here. That's good, so 12 minus five is seven X. 
run numbers on the right and oh you know the negative 20 becomes a positive 20 at zero so x equals zero and now that makes the y super easy because we know that y equals x plus four but we just figured out that x equals zero so that means zero plus four which is four so y equals four all right, so let's see. Let's see if I got that right. We did it. All right, so dilate those triangles, explore systems for the first time, post in the organizer uh, three times for systems, one for each assignment, and make sure you have some dilated triangle posts, and I'll see you in class.